Hi cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw my Draw So Cute Girl soccer player. So let's get started. To draw this cute girl, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw at the bottom of a U. So it's going to be a little bit wider, so let's say about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it at the bottom. So this is the center. Now let's go back up. There. So it's the basic shape that you're aiming to draw a nice wide bottom of a U. So from there, let's come to where we started and in this area close to the side we're going to draw a circle for the eyes. So same thing on the other side, right there. So let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So I think this one is <laughs> a little bit off. Let's try to fix that. Okay, I think that's better. It was a little too flat. Okay, so then from there, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for all the love. Oh, same thing over here. <laughs> for all the draw so cute girls I've drawn over the years. And I did draw a soccer girl a long time ago when I first started my channel. And I felt it was time to update her. So hopefully you'll love this one more. And definitely let me know in the comments below what other um, theme draw so cute girl you would like me to draw. Okay, so we have the eyes in. Let's come to the side and we're going to draw a lash. I'm just going to simplify it. Just two short lashes. One coming longer out and a shorter one at the bottom. And let's come above, say about right here. And I'm just going to draw a soft curve over her eye for her brow. So same thing over here. Just a soft curve. Okay, so then let's come to the side, um, to the center, right about right here, and let's give her a sweet smile and cap it off. There. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's come up and we're going to finish the rest of her face. So I'm just going to imagine the oval, so say about right here in the center, I'm just going to give myself a point. From there, I'm going to start to draw kind of like as if I was drawing a heart. I'm going to come up with a curve and bring it all the way back down. So same thing over here. So this is her hairline. So her hair is tightly tied up in the ponytail. There. Okay, so then let's come to the side where her eyes are and in this area, we're going to draw her ears. Let's pop out a curve. Give some details inside and same thing on the other side. So about right here where her eyes are and draw another curve for ear and curve inside. So then now let's come right here and we're going to start to draw the top of her hair. So bring out two angle lines out and let's go all the way up. So this is our center, so let's say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point. So I know that's about my highest point, about right there. And then I can start to bring it down. So I'm just using angle lines to create this curve. Okay, so then, that looks really weird, right? <laughs> okay, we're going to come right here. I promise it'll look better soon. We're going to come, let's say right here, we're going to draw the hairband. So, 
We're going to come right about there and tuck in this hair band that goes at the top. I was trying to figure out what the typical soccer player would wear and I think a lot of them wear hair bands, right? So hopefully I'm right. But of course you can change this dresser cute girl to however you want your soccer player to, to be, however you want her hair to be. Okay, so I have a hair band and now let's come right here and just add in some curves for some details for her hair so it doesn't look so stiff. So now that we're done with this part, um, let's go ahead and draw her body before we finish her ponytail. So let's come to the center. I'm going to give her a little neck right there. And let's bring down a curve for her shoulders on both sides. And imagining her armpits, so I'm just going to say about right here on both sides. And let's bring down angle line. So now we have this area to work with. Let's come and I'm going to give her uniform it is a V-neck. So once again, this is just to inspire you and you can draw your uniform however you like. So from there, I'm going to start to bring this up. Let's connect this part and let's bring down her shirt. The shirt's pretty long. Um, Come over here and draw her sleeves. So I come down. So this hand is coming out because she's holding a ball. So I'm going to make this one come out a little bit more. And just about right there, I'll just go ahead and tuck it in. And this side is going to be slanted in more because her hand is just to her side. But it's all going to end the same area and down. So notice more, it's more downward, this is more outwards. Okay, so then let's bring this down a little bit more. About right there, I'll stop. And I'm just going to wiggle a line across to finish off her shirt. And then right underneath here, a slight angle line. And let's draw two angle lines that come out from the center. And let's pop out her shorts on the side right here. And go ahead and connect it. Okay, so then from there, let's draw her legs. I'm going to continue this side. This is going to come down. And same thing over here. So let's bring this down. I'm going to work on this side first. Well, let's draw the legs first. Get that in. And about right there, I'll stop. And I'm going to start to draw her socks. So they're it's going to come out all the way down. So just still going down at the same angle. So make sure it's still heading downwards. And about right there, I'll stop and connect it. So same thing over here. Then her shoes. So come right here and flare it out and in. And connect at the bottom. Same thing over here for each tennis shoes. I mean her soccer shoes. <laughs> and connect. So then some details. Bottom, top. So I'm just totally simplifying this. Just as it looks like pair of shoes, athletic shoes. <laughs> okay, so then for some details, let's come up. We can draw some stripes right here, however you want to um, decorate it. Maybe another one. And then, of course, let's add a curve right here for the shin guard. Most important part, right?
pop it out a little bit. Okay, so then now let's finally draw the arms. Let's work on this side since it's a little bit easier. It's just going to be right coming right down to this area. So I'm going to come down, curve in about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw her thumb. Come back up. And we come right here and draw her fingers. Angle and in. in. So then now to this side, let's pop out her hand. So let's just leave some room for a soccer ball right here. So I'm going to bring this out. So however much space you have in here is going to determine how big your soccer ball is. So let's bring this out. So about right here. I'm going to come right here and start to draw a thumb. It's going to curve and the fingers. It's just going to curve right back up. Okay, there. Now let's tuck in a ball. So in this area, just imagine, let's draw this curve first. This is the most important curve right here, just to make it look a circle. So however big this is going to be, so about right here. And tuck it in. Okay, so then now to make this look like a soccer ball, I'm going to first start with one of the um, pentagon. So let's just say right here. As long as you have one or two of them, <laughs> It'll look like one a uh, soccer ball. So draw this angle. You can come right across and draw one coming this way. And then right in between here is going to be another. So you're creating this space right here. As long as it kind of looks <laughs> correct, it'll be fine. So once again, same thing here. And let's see. So I'm going to shade this in. Okay, now for the lines, it's lightly connect. And connect. So I guess one here. Let's just finish it off. There, something like that. <laughs> okay. And I'm a little bit off here. Huh? I should have some black parts right there, but uh, we'll let it go. Okay. So then let's finish her hair uh, right here. Let's just tuck in her ponytail, and I'm gonna flare it out and bring it in there. Okay, so then now to decorate this, oh, let's draw our shorts, maybe add a stripe right here before I forget. And I'm going to add the number 10 right here. So I'm going to start with a one right on this side. And the reason I'm adding the number 10 is only because I googled it. <laughs> and Google told me 10 is uh, one of the favorite numbers for soccer players. So if I am wrong, it's Google's fault. <laughs> so obviously put whatever number you want right here. Okay, so I have a 10 and I'm definitely going to add a heart right here. So now it's my draw so cute soccer girl. Oh, and then stripe here and maybe a little patch right here and Oh, and I almost forgot we got to put her on uh, some grass, right? So right here, I'm going to add some zigzags to look like grass. And why not? I'm going to add some dandelions. 
I know the soccer field is not supposed to have dandelions, but mine does. <laughs> so there. Hope you love this, uh, my newest version of, of Soccer Girl, and it inspires you to draw it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cure videos. See you later.